Hey man, if you're suffering in silence deep down within, just know this is no sign of weakness. This is no real sin. I've learned from my experiences of depression and impulses to commit suicide, from days where I've believed I couldn't go on, the many times I crumbled to the floor and cried. Us men, we've been given an enormous cross to carry, being told to keep our pain inside as life tests the living hell out of us, leaving us with no place to run or to hide. As little boys at school, we were told, only the weak pussy cries. We locked up our inner voices poignant calls as our ability to open up to support dies. As kids, our feelings of joy and sense of mad adventure were oft times told, sit down, be quiet, stop being bold. Whereas the love of the world opened up when sickened down with a broken bone to a common cold. Oh, this tragic path of the modern man in a world not so easily pleased where if you want support and understanding, the path of least resistance is manifesting disease. And our monopolized market of religion, advertised with strength, you are born sinners. Our inner voice of hope suppress some more, being told we are more losers than winners. Our spirit within knew this had no sense. It's obvious it does not. But questioning the preacher of supposed truth, we were told, you absolutely must not. To survive, we locked away our inner voice, made lonely islands of ourselves. But wait, here comes our saviour now, the medical industry with its packed out product shelves. While with a smile, they stab you in the back with their profit knife, tell you, your emotional pain is incurably chronic. You need these pills for life. The father of modern medicine, Hippocrates, turning in his grave, wanting the current medical system brought to its knees because it ignores for profit's sake his central teaching. The natural forces within are the true healers of disease. And your loving woman, feeling your, your suffering, suggest getting help to end your desperation. Not realizing in her good intentions, we have been trained. The man who asks for help risks social annihilation. And so we wear our public mask that answers, oh yes, oh, I'm feeling fine. When deep inside our external pride, we are on our knees in desperation crying. Born into a society that tells us what are the right things to think, to say, to do, to do. Be a social sheep going by the rules or it will turn savagely against you. Play when younger, go to school, obey your elders, figure out exactly what you want to do at an age where you haven't got the life experience, a stage when most haven't got a clue. Get a qualification, get a job, not necessarily one you've ever enjoyed. Be ambitious going up the ladder. All that matters is that you are employed. Get married, have children, earn more cash for the big car and house, but in the chaos, oh, never fear. You can break the chains of society's responsibilities, going on expensive holidays once or twice a year. The social checklist for happiness all ticked, Hey presto, you should be happy, but all you want to do is cry. A mask of success covers our desperate inner emptiness. The promised land is a tragic lie. And from our natural sadness when overwhelmed by life was created a monstrously profitable diagnosis that makes me think it's not our pain the beast but modern medicine that has the most serious psychosis. Deep sadness simply forces us to stop and look within. The phonetic breakdown of depressed is deep rest, shedding this exhausting identity that does not work is the only true way forward on our quest. You are not alone in your suffering. It's not some personal life intrusion. Obstacles are our path to happiness. Pretending they're not is our greatest delusion. 
the inner battle we all have never had anything to do with being weak. Great sadness presents the platform for the great victory we all seek. You are not the only man to suffer inner pain. The greats of history have been there too. Beyond their darkness they saw the light and their life's message is so can you. Christ needed 40 days and 40 nights, transcending the devil from deep inside. Gandhi, Ali, King and Mandela faced their inner demons before the outer turning of their tide. Buddha was asked what he gained from meditation. What great insights had he met? Nothing, he replied, but I'll tell you what I lost. Anger, anxiety, depression, insecurity, fear of old age and death. Depression is a deep emotional refusal to continue living a life that has no sense. Don't feel the need to fit back in the mess. Jump down with confidence from that fence. So no matter how hard your life is now, you might truly feel it's a living hell. Persist, my friend. What's emerging now is the great story you were born to tell. Forget your past. Each day you are reborn. It's what you do today that matters most. So take one positive step forward now. It sets you on the way to your winning post. Use the three things you control in life. Your thoughts, your words, your actions. You become the creator of your destiny, the master of momentum and forward traction. If you want to be sad, no force on earth can release this demon's grasping claws. But if you make up your mind to be happy now, the entire universe is behind your sacred cause. So face everything and rise, my friend. No matter what pills they've had you taking, unwrap the gifts your pain presents. You are a hero's story in the making. Sadness is simply a dare to awaken the giant that lies within you, to walk your highest mountain range. True happiness is never found outside of you. It begins and ends with inner change.